Top 10 IT Certification Exam Tips and Tricks It's just about time to take that long-awaited certification exam. You've put in the time, done your work, and now there are just a few more steps to make sure you are ready for the big day. Here, we will take a look at the importance of being prepared for your exam and the simple steps you can take to ensure you are completely ready. These are our top 10 certification exam tips and tricks. These tips will help you be ready to succeed when it comes time for your certification exam. Number one, get to know the test before you take it. Don't let the day of your exam be the first time you experience it. While you can't look at the actual exam you will take, there are plenty of resources available to help you familiarize yourself with the test before you take it. Do a little homework and get a good feel for what to expect come test day. A little online digging might help you come up with an exam blueprint, outlining the things you need to know about the test. Many test takers agree that basic things like the type of questions, multiple choice, open-ended, etc., and general test format are helpful to know ahead of time. Keep in mind that in many cases, the creators of the exam are the same people who created the software or hardware that you plan to work with. It is in their best interest that you successfully complete the exam and start on your career. This is the reason many provide resources and exam information, so you know what to expect from your exam. Also remember that a simple Google search will help you uncover some things you should know about your test. For example, that Microsoft likes to use case studies in their exams, or that when taking a Cisco exam, you will be given an erasable noteboard and marker for notes and calculations when answering questions. Number two, use live practice labs. Learning through live practice labs can benefit you in many ways. Completing these hands-on labs are among the best ways to learn the technology you plan to pursue. They can also benefit you when the day comes to take your certification exam. This is why it is important to complete as many live practice labs as you can. These labs give you an unrivaled opportunity to take what you have learned and put it to use in a real-world simulation. These labs are available for just about every possible IT area and, in many cases, they are included as a part of your training program. Number three, look into deeply discounted or free exams at trade shows. The cost of IT certification exam varies depending upon what test you are taking. Completing an MCSA certification will cost a little over $150 while the CCIE exam is upwards of $1,500. What many potential exam takers do not realize is that many trade shows provide you with the opportunity to take your exam at a deep discount or even free. In the past few years, some of these included Invent, Cisco Live, Microsoft Ignite, and VMworld. It's a win-win. Attend a trade show and start networking, while getting certified. Just be sure to look into this option ahead of time to ensure the right exam is being offered and that you understand the registration process. Number four, do some mental prep work. The next part of the exam process is to focus your attention on how to prepare for the experience of taking the test. Many exam takers who do not prepare for the actual test experience say that this piece of preparation may have improved their score. If you have never taken a certification exam, the process can be nerve-wracking. Ask yourself, what will you do if you get nervous about a response? How will you react if you come across questions you can't answer? What happens if you start to feel yourself get overwhelmed? A great way to overcome this potential pitfall is to mentally prepare for taking the test. Call the test center and ask what the testing environment is like. Think about some techniques like simple breathing exercises you can do if you get stressed during the exam. Doing a mental walkthrough of the testing experience will go a long way come test day. Don't overlook the value of asking people who have taken a similar test about their experiences they might have some preparation or test-taking ideas you haven't thought of. Number five, practice makes perfect. 
Certification exam practice questions are one of the most valuable resources throughout the studying process. You can find these resources online, in books, and through your training program. Because the practice questions are very similar to what you will see on the actual exam, they are one of the best prep tools you can find. If you find through completing these questions that you have an area of weakness, you can double down on that topic. The more you practice, the more comfortable you will become with all the material, leading to a smoother exam experience. Number six, create an exam day plan. A small percentage of test takers will wake up on the test day feeling rested and ready to go. For many others, there will likely be some test day nerves. This is normal. You have spent a considerable amount of time preparing for this day, so nerves are expected. In order to combat the tension from taking over the day, create an exam day plan and stick to it. Think through the morning of the exam and know what you will need. You may even want to call the testing center a few days prior to check in on what you should bring and what you should leave at home. Some exams will require you to have things like a registration paper, pencils, personal identification, or a number of other items. You don't want to be thinking through these details on the morning of the exam. The day before the exam day, make sure you have enough gas in your car or map out your public transit plan. Number seven, exam day tips you need to know. When it comes to taking any kind of test, there are some reminders that can help you get into the right mindset to ace your exam. Take your time. Don't rush. Most certification exams give you ample time to complete the assessment, so there is no need to rush through. Think through your answers and give yourself time to recall your training before responding. Before you start responding, take a minute and think through each response. Don't second guess yourself. A piece of advice that almost any test taking expert will share is don't second guess yourself. Think you know the answer, but then you question your gut. The thing is, in many cases, your gut is right. Trust yourself and your training. Check your work. If your exam offers you the opportunity to check your work, go ahead and do it. Yes, this does seem to conflict with a suggestion above, but this is an important step. What if you misunderstood a question? Or perhaps you missed an important detail on the first pass and it came to you later during the exam. Instead of second guessing your every response, take a moment and be sure that you paid attention to the instructions, completed each response, and didn't miss anything. Take care of yourself. A final thought and general test taking suggestion is to make sure you take good care of yourself before the test. Do your best to get a good night's sleep the night before. Make sure you eat enough before you sit down to focus. Choose clothes that are comfortable. This way, there will be nothing small standing in the way of your success. Number eight, don't expect a perfect score. When the day comes and you're sitting down to complete your exam, don't get rattled when you don't know an answer. No matter how much you study, there will be things you don't know. This is nothing to get shaken over. When this happens, and it will happen, think through the question and make your best educated guess. Chances are, some other piece of information you have will help you answer the question. It's also important to keep in mind that you do not need a perfect score to pass. For example, when taking the CompTIA Security Plus certification, you need a 750 on a scale of 100 to 900 to pass. Number nine, be prepared on test day. When test day finally does come, be ready. Arrive at the testing location at least 15 minutes before your appointment. Make sure you bring the appropriate identification. Most testing centers will require you to lock your personal items away, so be mentally prepared not to have your bag, cell phone, or other personal items while taking the test. Another important thing is to dress in layers. There is nothing worse than trying to concentrate when you are freezing cold or burning up. 
dress in layers you can add or shed depending upon the temperature in the test center. Number 10. After the test. Hopefully, now is the time to offer congratulations. Take some time and celebrate this important milestone in your career and your life. Once you have completed your certification, what's next? Stay up on the latest trends. Remember that learning doesn't end on test day. Technology changes at a constant pace and it is your job to keep up with it. Find some ways that work for you to stay up to date on the latest trends and information in the information technology world. Additionally, be sure to connect with other IT pros and build a network of support. Consider additional certifications. For many IT professionals, the first IT certification will be one of many. Consider what your next complementary certification might be and consider the right timing to begin preparing for that. What if you did not pass? Each IT certification exam has guidelines for retaking the exam if you do not pass the first time. For example, CompTIA outlines, in the event that you fail your first attempt to pass any CompTIA certification examination, CompTIA does not require any waiting period between the first and second attempt to pass such examination. However, before your third attempt or any subsequent attempt to pass such examination, you shall be required to wait for a period of at least 14 calendar days from the date of your last attempt to pass such examination. So keep in mind that if you do not receive a passing grade on the first attempt, in the vast majority of cases, you can try again. Make sure certifications stay valid. Also, don't forget that some certifications do expire. Understand the timelines and rules for keeping your certification active and take the necessary steps to keep them that way. Final thoughts. It's okay to be nervous. Don't let it get the best of you. You have put in the time to train for this new and exciting part of your life. Completing your exam is just one more step in the process. By following these simple tips and tricks, you are well on your way to a successful exam. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.